Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Google Maps search to contact data flow available on phantombuster.com. With this flow, you'll be able to extract emails, phone numbers, and social media info from Google Maps search results. This Google Maps flow will allow you to target local businesses on a map, enrich these businesses with contact data, and download Google Maps data into your own spreadsheet. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing we want to do is head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, we want to go to the left-hand margin and choose Google, and then we're going to choose Google Maps Search to Contact Data. Keep in mind, if you click on this title, you'll be taken to the Google Maps Search to Contact Data overview page, where you'll get a full breakdown of everything you can do with this flow. If you click on the Tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown on exactly how to use this flow. So to get started, let's click on Use This Flow. The first step is to choose which searches you want to scrape. You have a number of options here. You can use keywords, which we don't really recommend. You can use the URL of a single Google Maps search, the URL of a Google Sheet containing a list of keywords or Google Maps search URLs. You can also use the URL of a CSV file containing a list of keywords or Google Maps search URLs. You just want to make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible. Now, I've already gone and done a search on Google Maps for barbershops in downtown Austin, Texas. So all I need to do is go to the URL bar, select all, right click and say copy, and then go back to my phantom and in the input section, I'll right click and choose paste. There's also some spreadsheet settings in case you're using a spreadsheet with more than one column. But for now, we'll use a single URL and I'll go ahead and click save. Now here's where you tell the what browser language you wanna search with and the number of results to scrape per search. Keep in mind that Google Maps only displays the first 200 results of a search. So to get more, alter the search query by searching within smaller areas or use multiple search URLs in a spreadsheet. For now, everything looks good, so I'll click on save. Now here is where you wanna tell the flow which data you wanna extract for each of the businesses. So you can choose emails, phone numbers, Facebook profiles, Instagram profiles, Twitter profiles, LinkedIn profiles, or YouTube channels. For now, I'm just gonna keep it as emails and click save. Now here's where you choose your notification settings. You can choose to get notified in case of an error, in case of success, or other advanced notification options. For now, I'm just gonna keep it as none. And under the advanced settings, you can set up things like proxies and other folder management settings. For now, everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So this will take us to the Google Maps search to contact data console page. If I wanna start running this flow, all I need to do is go to the top and click on enable flow. Now, depending on how many businesses you're looking to scrape, this may take some time. All right, so our Google Maps search to contact data flow has finished running. At the top of the console page, you can see how many locations were collected, how many websites were scraped, and how many emails that were collected. If I wanna download this information, all I need to do is click on Download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was our Google Maps search to contact data flow. To get started using this flow, make sure you go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.